Hello, once again, peoples of the world, this is Argonian Sam, and I bet you're wondering, what am I looking at? Well, this is a very old game I dragged out of my cupboard, partially due to boredom, partially due to, you know, running out of things to do! So this is what we're doing! This is Ape Escape 2. I don't have the first one because, A, it's much shorter than, the, than 2, and, you know, barely has anything, like, you don't need to play the first one to understand the second one. So, hit new game and uh, watch the opening cutscene. Can you see me all right? Hmm. I have a favor to ask you. While I'm away, could you use the transporter to... Well, uh, now, where did they get to anyway? Ah, yeah. Send these newly designed pants to Monkey Park for me. Would you mind? It's a delicate machine, so be careful not to overload it. Yeah, that's basically the whole point of the game, Ape Escape. Monkeys escape, you find the monkeys, or rather, apes, as the game so clearly makes it known. So, the only thing that you need to know from the first game is essentially the monkey helmets give the monkeys superhuman intelligence, and that causes lots of problems because the white one, as you saw, has the ability to control all the rest of them. I don't know why. But, uh, this is a very interesting game compared with most other games because you know I'm jumping but with the right trigger the trigger buttons are tied to things that you shouldn't you know use to jump anyway so the currently the X button is assigned to the net which is essentially the lightsaber of all nets why it works like that I don't know but essentially how this game works is uh, you hit the buttons that you have your items assigned to and you don't press the button again to use it that's just how you switch between items you actually use the right control stick use any of your items. You control everything via the right control stick. So it's essentially a twin stick platformer. So let's go to this phone here and whack it. Jimmy, can you hear me? It's me. I can't hear you. The reception's really bad. I'll be using these message phones to help you out. Okay. You should be thankful that I'm doing this. Tutorials. So listen carefully to what I say, okay? First, let me explain your gadgets. Gadgets are useful tools that you control with the right analog stick. This is how you use them. 
gadgets are activated in a variety of different ways. They're only really activated one way. Try rotating and moving the right analog stick in different directions. Right now, you have just two gadgets, the Stun Club and the Monkey Net. Use the Stun Club to attack monkeys and enemies. And also to activate switches and devices. Your Monkey Net is used to catch those cheeky monkeys. Most important item in the game. Make that known. Most important. To start with, the Stun Club is set to the Triangle button, and the Monkey Net is set to the X button. Each button can be set to switch to a different gadget. You'll find it very convenient. Good luck! So, I played this game a bunch as a kid, so I don't, I'm not really going to be using the phones, mainly because I don't really need them, because I know pretty much everything there is. So, I've got two monkeys right here. They're going to run. So, you can always tell what state a monkey is in based on uh, the color of the light on the helmet. If it's blue, they don't know you're there. If it's yellow, they think you might be there. If it's red, they're going to be running from you. Now, these are coins. The thing about coins is they combo in this game. If you collect a bunch of them sequentially without, you know, there being a break, that little jingle there that you heard basically means if you looked over here at the right time, it turned into a silver star, and that one's worth five. You click five of those quick enough, and they'll turn into gold stars, which are worth ten. So if you find a way to combo having a lot of money really, really quickly, um, you can stack money really, really quickly. So, there were five monkeys in the level, as it said in the opening. Uh, I only need to collect three to beat the level. Uh, the only reason why I'm not going to be going back and collecting all the monkeys immediately is because there's always one hidden monkey that's not specified. So, there's actually, I think, six in that level. Um, and you get an item very, very late into the game. lets you go and find the hidden monkeys. Welcome to the travel station. And then... Um, then I'll go back and find them all. But until then, I'm just going to be going through the levels until I get that item. Then I can go back. This has been our new home since you blasted the lab. I had to build it out of the remains of my own room. Use the warp machine at the front to go and catch monkeys. I've also made a save port. It's really useful. So, got several things over here. We got the warp pad, we got the data desk, which is the save spot. We have the gadget trainer. This is pretty useful. Um. It's useful for different ways than you'd expect, and we'll get to that later. The entertainment center is where you, you know, find all the artwork and everything you collect throughout the game. You can look at it there. Minigame corner, we don't have any minigames yet. This is where you get minigames and other art books and stuff, so every 10 coins... That device over there is the gotcha you box. You can use the gotcha box. For 10 gold coins, you can get yourself a cool item. Let's get ourselves a cool item, then. can be viewed at the minigame corner and in the... Okay, so... Put in 10 coins, goes down, whack it, and then you whack it again. And what do we get? A note from Spectre himself! When there are fish in the pond, the shrimp are in charge. When the tiger leaves the mountain, the monkey is king. Basically saying, you know, you gave us the helmets again, this is your fault. Which, I mean, I can't necessarily fault him, it's like, you know, just give the, the really smart Jimmy, monkey really I'm smart stuff. The monkey radar seeks out those cheeky monkeys. Very helpful. First, you should practice in the gadget trainer. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? This is a, this is a very useful item, as we're going to see. But, you know, not at first, basically. So. Oh, monkey cam. Okay, so stomach fullness, max. It's not aggressive alert or fast, though. Middle door is the winner. So, basically, you aim it around, and it shows you where the nearest monkeys are. Very useful in later levels. It's very obvious where most of the monkeys are early. But, yeah, there's that. So here's why I'm doing the gadget trainer for all the gadgets. Uh, there's always a five. However, there's always a second stage, which is harder. Let me explain how the monkey cam, the monkey cam provides... It's a nice device attached to yeah. To switch to the monkey cam, this will only work when you... Yes. And if he has pressed the L2... Cool! You'll find it very useful. Yep. Point the radar at the monkey decoy. Don't yep. miss the monkey comments. Yep. Okay. So basically, aim it at the monkey. It says it switches around here or all losers. Okay. So now we know. Not there. Is this the wrong switch? Okay. What about that one? Now he's looking here. One to the left of me is the winner. So, ding. So the second stage, level two for the Gadget Trainer, always rewards a 10 coin, which is why it's so beneficial, because 10 coins aren't necessarily easy to come by. So basically, free money for basically doing the tutorial. I like the way it does that, because you want the coins. They allow you to do cool stuff and find cool little rewards. 
Okay. And they will throw they will throw things at you. As you most likely saw in the intro, uh, like the cutscene of not the cutscene, cut like the opening cutscene, like when you first load up the game, there's a few different colors of monkeys, and each of them does different things. So, for instance, what's the camera button? Is it, okay, it's L1. So you have the yellow monkeys, and then you have these ones. The light blue pants monkeys are cowards. They will only really whack you if you get that close to them, but they will always try and run from you. Always. Or just hide. They'll either run or hide. One or the other. Sometimes both. I think there's a monkey in here. There is a monkey. So, the... He's called Loser. Oh, well, poor guy. So, the... Pippachu will eventually, like, uh, every once in a while help you do stuff like that. Uh, he'll help you get across gaps and stuff. So... The different monkeys will do different things based on their pants colors. Very easy to tell. Very good telegraphing there. Um, I believe that the last monkey that I'm going to collect is up here. Yep, found him. There we go. All done. So, yes. a baboon genie. I love the monkey names. The monkey names are all like, or at least most of them, are jokes. I love the jokes in this game. Very fun. Um, so yeah, I got one yellow pants monkeys. And three light blue pants monkeys, so that we had three cowards. So, it's good to know what each monkey does, so that way you can, you know, handle them appropriately. I'm going to be doing a bunch of levels today, because they're all super short to open Jimmy, up with. Jimmy, I'm sending this gadget to you. The water net is used to help you swim. You'll be swimming like a fish if you practice in the trainer. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Now, I'd say I'm doing this game 100%, except for the fact that I don't want to have to do the time trials. Because, like, there's no real reward for that. Getting all the monkeys, like, getting, like, all the optional monkeys and, like, all the bonus stuff, like, that absolutely gives you a different ending and, like, stuff like that. But there's no real, like, reward the game gives you for, like, unlocking all the art books or doing all the time trials. So I'm not going to be focusing mainly on that. I'm going to be focusing on uh, everything else. So, you press up and down on the on the control stick. Water in this level freaks out for some reason. I don't know why. doesn't do that in any other level, but it just freaks out in the gadget trainer. Um, so yeah, no time trials, everything else though. Teleporting to Venice today. Aha! That monkey is just sitting on a fountain. In a very uncomfortable fashion, too. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? But now I can. This is an irritating monkey to get to. Like, essentially, it's like the first five monkeys you would come into contact with in, in a level like this aren't necessarily the ones you want to uh, catch. Like, in, in longer levels, you don't necessarily want to catch the monkeys that are right there, because, like, you don't want to have to go through the entire level twice. This level, I'm just going to catch the first five monkeys I come into. Um... As that one shows, it's a mystery monkey, so essentially the ones that are in costumes don't have a pants color, uh, and they normally have some sort of special gimmick to them. Because of that, they don't really have a color associated to them. But, uh... Like, eventually you'll come into levels that have, like, 30-plus monkeys in them, and they're massive levels. It's like, that one is like, okay, I need 30 monkeys, and there's 35 of them. Skip the first five like the last 30s. That way when I come back to the level, I don't have to go all the way to the end of a difficult and long level just to catch the last five months. So that's that's basically my thought process there. More pineapple birds. There were tomato birds in the last level. Now we got pineapple birds. Up. I love that the monkey that was sitting on the fountain is named Bidet. There's just something amazing to me about that. Uh, no, I think the last one I'm going to catch is in here. Along with, you know, the Box of God. You cannot break this thing. I hear it. There it is. 
I figured due to the fact that I wasn't getting like rocks thrown at me that um it was a it was a light blue, but I wasn't going to like completely assume. Nice job. Yeah, three yellows, light blue, and a mystery monkey. Everyone needs a mystery monkey. Hello, human friends. How are you? Spectre, you're up to no good again, aren't you? Come now. We superior monkeys are merely offering to rule over you poor humans who simply cannot watch out for yourselves. So you didn't learn your lesson even after being beaten by Spike? Ah, oh, yes. I suppose I didn't play my cards right that time. But this time, I've got the Freaky Monkey 5 on my side. They'll put up a fight like you've never seen. Sorry, but you just don't stand a chance. I fed them these Vita Z bananas, so now they're stronger than you. Just keep talking. Jimmy will be there any moment to catch you. <laughs> we'll see who will be catching who. This should be a lot of fun. Jimmy, it's up to you. You've got to stop him. Okay, no problem. Just count on me. Okay, so that told me one thing. I need to turn on subtitles. There we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're gonna get some gacha stuff real quick, because there is stuff that can steal your money, and we don't want to waste it. Photo of an enemy. We got a tomato bird. A fortune. Person you like will body slam your fortune. Extra good today. I think... I don't want to put all of my... I think that means that you get better stuff from this. <laughs> nice. As far as I know, there's no way to get duplicates, so it's not really a gotcha machine. It's just, you know, what random thing. Discovered an amazing fact today. The language of their own koala bears are called Don't Drink Water. And as their name implies, they don't, in fact, drink any water. Grab buttons. Language of their origin. Quality original. Interesting! Great, my research is advancing further. I want to show you the examine next. A bunch of, like, random actual facts that are just random for no reason. Let's go do this level real quick. Jimmy, I'm sending this gadget to you. You can run at lightning speed with a super hoop. I a love this thing, and I hate this thing at the same time. And you'll be as fast as the wind. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Yes and no, I want free money, but I don't want to go learn how to use the hula hoop. So, the super hoop is interesting. It's a hula hoop. But it also makes you run really, really fast when you're using it, which makes me wonder how he is gyrating his hips to make a hula hoop work. Nice work. While running. Yes. Basically allows you to go up really, really slick slopes, which is helpful because there's a lot of them. And as you can imagine, this is going to start lowering, so we need to move. And boom, 15 more coins, and we're ready to go. A lot more monkeys in this level. Chasing hyper-intelligent monkeys around the world. So, now we have a new type of monkey. Got a new type. Dark blue pants monkeys are extremely fast. I'm going to approach him without the super hoop. And away he goes! Yeah, they are really, really fast. There's no way that you can catch them without the assistance of the super hoop. Uh, I'm gonna go catch this uh, light blue real quick. Come on. Ow! Very rarely do you actually see them smack you back. Okay, so. Go up here. And we're gonna catch this guy. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the easiest way to catch a blue is to ram them. Because it will either knock them down or just stun them. And then once they're stunned, you can catch them really easy. 
We got those with the blue ones, too. They're really fast. Really annoying. Really annoying. So we got another one. Okay. It's easy to tell this one's theme. We have Ole, who is, you know, a matador. This guy I love, because, like, I think this is the right one. There's a lot of fast ones. Yeah, this one's Trip. Trip! Every once in a while, there's one that's, like, a joke. Trip, if you chase him for long enough, he just keeps tripping. Like, literally, he cannot stop tripping over his own feet. It's hilarious. But every once in a while, there's, like, a joke. There's a monkey that's just, like, a joke or a theme. And that's amazing. So. As we learned in the Gadget Trainer, uh, you can't really get over slippery surfaces without the super hoop. So, that's one thing you can do is the, uh, the roofs there. Got a light blue. I do like the music of this level. Uh, there's one more monkey in this area, but there's two monkeys in the next area, so I might as well just pick them up at the same time. Because I want to show off the mini-boss. There are mini-bosses, and actual bosses. No! No, right as I could have gotten a lot of money! Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. No! No! Uh, such a disappointment. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this drops me. And it also opens up this. We got a mechanical bull in Spain. I like it. Okay, that's one down. Just need to kill the bull. Its weak point is in the back giant, like, button. You really shouldn't have, like, the off button for your robot in somewhere that's, you know, really easy to hit. At least make me flip it over first. Make me earn it. But I guess it's you know, one of the first levels. So I'm not gonna hold it too high. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Alrighty then. A lot of monkeys collected. Stage cleared. And it's immediately going to throw me into the boss fight with the first of the Freaky Monkey Five. What's this? Well, kid, you did good making it this far. Ever hear of the Freaky Monkey Five? Yes, like Line five minutes ago. Monkey. Okay. The boss has ordered me to stop you, so I'm afraid that's what I gotta do. Don't take it personal, kid. I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? Hey, kid. Didn't your mama ever teach you not to cross at a red light? Well, I'll make sure you never forget. Ha! Go! Alrighty, so we're gonna start the next episode by going straight into the boss fight with Blue Monkey of the Freaky Monkey 5. But, that is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this new series that I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing Ape Escape 2. And three, there is a third one. This is, in fact, a trilogy of games. So, much more to look forward to, and uh, a lot of fun gameplay to come. So I will see you next time, peoples of the world.